Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the first 10 days of July reading. And this reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. Um, I am going to be changing the way I do reads from now onwards. I will be doing it from the 1st to the 10th of the month, and then 10th to the 20th, and 20th to the end of the month. So this is how I'm going to start doing the reads. And I will also be putting out separate cards for your career love life and general energies for them for the time frame as well so yeah um this is going to be for the sign of pisces so what we're going to do is we're going to pull out some cards to see the general energies first then we're going to dive into the career and at last we're going to see uh what can you expect coming up for you in your love life so yeah stick around and just be mindful it is a general reading hit me and it may not resonate with everyone out there pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that i offer as well in the description box so Pisces, let's see what's general um energy is coming in your life what is it what is going to be the most um dominant theme for this time frame for you in your life starting from the first through the 10th of july 2024 let's see what is going to be the most dominant things that's going to be on your mind we do have the memory number 20 could be significant then we do have the um remembrance reunion memory now i really feel like you know for some of you i don't know i think the light is too low for me to read yeah now i can read it um so what i see here is i think it's fine so what i see here is um you will be making a lot of memories in the first 10 days of july I really feel like you know a lot is going to be happening a lot is going to be shifting for those of you who are into manifestation tools and techniques and you have been using uh vision boards or goal uh writing i really feel like you, know, you are going to look back to the times that you have written or made a vision board around it and you're going to be ticking things off your list because you are going to be like uh manifesting big in your life in the first 10 days of july so i really feel like you know, it's going to be like um you would be living the dream life that you wanted to live. For some of you, if we, if we talk about, um, you know, um, your past, your you might be getting nostalgic about certain things. But again, you will be happy for for uh, what you are getting right now. So it's, it's more like, you know, even if you miss something or someone from the past, you're still going to feel very happy and fulfilled in the current moment. So I really see that you will be making lots of memories in the first 10 days of july whether you can see it right now or you don't but that's exactly what's going to be um let's move on to your career let's see what can you expect happening for your career and work from let's see what can you expect pisces what can you expect for your career and your work life i really feel like you know you are going to feel very emotional when it comes to your work and career field i believe that you know there are going to be certain things that you would want to achieve want to do but you would find like you know lack of clarity lack of wisdom to see where you want to go i really feel like you know intuitively you are going to be very heightened you if you could meditate you will be able to receive more um opportunities coming your way uh than ever but you will have to make sure that you make room for that I feel like, you know, to achieve your goals, success, you have to meditate. Uh, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, number 18 could be significant. Uh, but yes, you need to know that whatever your intuition is guiding you towards, you take action upon it. Because I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, your love life is going to influence your work life a lot, for good or for bad. So make sure that you draw, you know, um, very strong line between the two. Because if you allow this to interfere that area of your life, it's not going to be good. So make sure that you keep your emotions out of your financial, you know, or career life. So it does not influence anything in a negative way. You know, make sure you know your healthy boundaries and how to juggle between the two or how to manage the two rather than like, you know, getting yourself overwhelmed with one area of your life. So you should not let your emotions get in your work and your work get in your emotional life. So make sure that you could separate both very easily because I really feel like you know, there's a huge chance that 
you would allow your emotions to lead your work, which might not be good for you. Uh, let's see some more cards here. What can you see coming for you in your career? I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you might be getting a lot of success, financial um, abundance coming your way. You are destined to get a lot of success in this uh, first 10 days of uh, July is what I see here. But I really feel like, you know, for some of you, your love life is going to start influencing your work life is what I see here. For some of you, you might need someone through your work and that could also influence your love life, uh, influence your work life is what I see here. Uh, but I really feel like, you know, if you are single or even if you are in a relationship with someone, there is a big chance that you see your love life interfering in your work life and you are going to be like getting slightly detracted uh, when it comes to your career. But I really see even if, if it is like, you know, um, influencing your, your career right now, you will still be happy. You will still be making lots of money. You will still be like, you know, you're destined to get success. But I, again, I would suggest you to make sure that you draw the healthy line there because that is very, very important. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, you might, you know, if, especially if you are single and you're looking for love, you might meet someone through your work, through your passion, through your career, uh, who is going to unexpectedly propose you. There is a big chance of that to happen in the first 10 days of July. So you can stay prepared to get um, lucky, to get uh, surprised, to get um, happy. Because somebody is going to be like, I, I don't know why, but I feel like you know, for some of you, you might be leaving your job or you might be like, you know, saying bye to your career path because this person walks in your life and they really don't want to, you to do anything but be with them. So there is the possibility of that to happen because I really see your emotions are, you know, going to be uh, dominant over your career path right now in the first 10 days of uh, July. So however it is going to apply for you in your situation, but I really see that coming through very strong. Um, but I really feel like, you know, um, this person can be somebody who is from the same field, somebody who has the same interests, somebody who loves you, somebody who wants you. And I really feel like, you know, in, in a loving relationship, you are going to be like doing really good in this uh, 10 days time. Let's pull out some cards for your love life in particular. Let's see what's coming through for you in your love life and the first 10 days of uh, July. Let's see what's coming through for you in your love life in the first 10 days of July. We do have our first card here, which is the Eight of Swords reversed. Uh, so what I see here is uh, for majority of you, you, you might have felt like blocked in your life lately, but this remaining uh, you know this this first 10 days of july time what you're going to see is you will be able to release the past you will be able to release and heal from the past you have um the, the what we call it um you have that um power where you're going to see things for what they are you will be able to accept things the way they are rather than running away from them you know and, and in the very beginning we do have the memory card here so for some of you maybe you are going to miss someone from the past but you're not going to let it control you in any possible way you are you are ready to set yourself free from any baggage from the past is what i see here so let's see what is coming through for you in your love life in the first 10 days of uh, july pisces what is coming through for you we do have the two of cups um I really feel like, you know, you might have stayed stuck in a relationship which was not healthy, which was not positive. Uh, you might have been into some situation like that. And you are going to get out of that unstable relationship is what I see here. Um, and I really feel like, you know, that's when you're going to start focusing more on your career. But you will be emotionally somehow be there in, in, your, in your mind, in your life where you're going to be like, you know, I really don't know what I want with my life. Um, but I really see then comes this person who is coming in unexpectedly. We do have the queen of cups and then we do have the three of swords. Now, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, you really don't see there is someone in your love, in your work front who has interest in you. You really don't see this person, you know, reaching out to you. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you're still stuck. Thinking like, you know, what's going to happen next in your life? You don't know. You don't you don't have any uh, clue about it. And then comes this person who is ready to um, give you, um, who's interested in you, who wants to talk to you, but you're still lost in the suffering. But as you release that suffering and as this person enters in your life, 
you will be kind of like, you know, start opening yourself up towards compassion and the love that you're going to receive coming from this person. So I really feel like, you know, there is going to be a shift coming in for you where, you know, someone is going to enter in your life and going to start making you feel like you need to dream again regarding your love, regarding your life. You know, right now, probably you're feeling stuck right now. Probably you're feeling like you would never find love. Probably you're still hurt. Probably you're still like in dealing with some uh, heartache, but there is something coming in, in in your love life through your work, which is going to surprise you. That person is going to be helping you heal from the past and is going to help you to see that life has more to come. Life has more to give. You are stuck on something from the past. You're going to be like, you know, able to break free from that and going to see what is coming in front of you and i really feel like you know for majority of you this person coming in your life this situation developing in your life is going to be so unexpected and you're not going to feel like you know um ready to to receive it you will be like somehow still in your mind about the past person and you know situations but then you will be able to set yourself free because this person is going to make you do the that is what i see coming through so that's what i see happening for you in the first 10 days of july is what i see uh, for Pisces. So I really feel like, you know, your love life is going to influence your work life. And it's, it's just because somebody new is going to enter in your life. I really see it to be somebody new. I don't think it's somebody from the past because somebody from the past is someone that you're going to get yourself free from is what I see here. So that's what I see coming in for you, Pisces, for this uh, first 10 days of July. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. And if you're willing to purchase affirmations before you dive into the next month and the you know the first 10 days of the july you can purchase affirmations from me or you can book your affirmations to manifest what you desire in the month of july so check the description box for further details on that till i do the next read take care bye